Conceiving a child may seem like an easy thing, but for some couples, it's an uphill task. When a couple stays for more than one year without achieving a conception and they're adequately exposed, then we refer to that as infertility. Sperm banks are commonly used in cases where the male partner produces little or no sperm or has mobility issues whereby the sperm cannot reach the egg. Sperm can come from the male partner or from a donor. All willing prospective donors must undergo a series of medical tests to rule out any inheritable and infectious diseases. Although the identity of the sperm donor is kept anonymous, couples can profile potential donors using characteristics like age, skin and eyes color, hair color, body size, education, and even tribe. In most cases, the Fertility Enhancement Center at the Nairobi Hospital directly chooses the donors. We do not take the identity of the person. Sperm is stored in small vials and preserved in liquid nitrogen tanks. We have samples that we stored in way back in 2005 and they're still good and we could still use them for years to come. It can be used for intrauterine insemination, a procedure also known as artificial insemination. Other practices include in vitro fertilization, which is commonly dubbed as the test tube baby procedure. In this process, both eggs and sperms are collected and fertilization takes place in the laboratory. Then embryos are transferred to the uterus for further growth. Intracytoplasmic sperm injection is a similar procedure which involves the injection of a single sperm into the egg. In Kenya, sperm banking is exclusively available for couples only and does not cater to single women. Donors are generally not compensated as this could lead to commercialization of sperm donation. There is also a limited amount of times a person can donate sperm. What we recommend is two, three, four times. Otherwise, uh, you can take a hypothetical situation. You might uh, have too many people all right, uh, getting conceptions from one person. Uh, and uh, in that case, then these people may end up marrying and become consanguineous. Sperm banking is also used in special cases where the male partner is suffering from an illness, paralysis, or will be separated from the female partner for a long period of time. With the help of assisted reproductive technology, many couples have found an innovative solution to infertility. However, what do other Kenyans think about this? I wouldn't mind uh, having donated it given to somebody else. Ni mzuri mtu ajisaidie ikiwa hawezi then uh, should just ad adapt it's a good move because we have so many couples who cannot have kids sperm banking gives couples hope to create a family and provides them with more control over their family planning georgette karathi citizen tv nairobi